Hey boys and girls, my name is Mike Kelly, Real Illusion Forum and AnimatorsForum.com. This is going to be a really quick tutorial, really quick. But somebody had asked on a very old uh, video I posted how, how I got this robot into iClone. And I think it's instructive because you, you'll find this happens a lot if you're not real familiar with how to bring it in. So this is a robot. Uh, it's not this droid. It's, <laughs> this is not the droid you're looking for. This is... It's some other droid. I don't remember what droids this is. Oh, it's the uh, dy 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 dystopian something droid. Anyway, um, so here it is in here in uh, Daz. And so all you really need to do is just export this as FBX like that. And I just exported it as uh, DWD underscore A because that's the version. There's a number of different versions of this. So I exported, exported as that from Daz, no problem, you don't need to see that. And then in I, uh, 3D Exchange, I just bring it in, open up, go to that uh, robot again, DWD, FBX, it's the FBX, you don't need to import any an animation or anything. And uh, the only other thing you have to do, the rigging, if you export it as FBX, most of the robots that people supply in Daz are rigged properly. Now, not all of them are. Uh, that's where it gets to be a little tricky, but as I always say, if you come across any one that you have trouble with, just let me know and I'll see what I can do about it. So, in this case, it comes in here and we're going to go ahead and, and change it to, or uh, convert it. We're not going to convert it to non-human, even though it is a non-human, but non-standard. Non-standard is basically any biped that isn't a, a particular CC3 uh, one, uh, or a C, actually any character creator one. So it's slightly non-standard, and you have to find the rigging for it. So that's the, that's what that non-standard means. Non-human would be like um, you know four-legged creatures and things. So then what we're going to do is we're going to load in uh, either a preset, or we're going to go through and and uh, identify all of these bones and match them up here. And I think you can see the uh, in the manual how to do that. I already think I have a preset for this. Uh, I have dweeb. Um, and I think that's, that's just one that I happened to go ahead and I attached all the bones and I, and I set it up that way. So rather than load it in more than once, I, I can just load it back in here. So you can see that well, th some of the things that are instructive are that it skips some of the bones. See, here's, a, here's the shoulder bone and then there's the, the upper bicep. But this bone is skipped. This is more of a rotator bone. So this would rotate the, the arm and it doesn't match up to anything that we'd have as a human. Uh, so then the last thing we have to do is we have to put it in a T-pose. You'll notice this, it says this is the T-pose, uh, but this T-pose isn't correct. And so if you go ahead and you preview anything else, like a, a basic run, for example, you'll see the, the arms are all twisted. So that's not right. So, or a dance. So the arms are incorrect because the T-pose isn't, isn't active, isn't correct. So what we have to do is we have to change that. So we go to T-pose here, preview that. And then we want to take it out of the T-pose, change it out of active, and pick that bone, that shoulder arm bone that's causing the issues there. So that's that left shoulder on that side there. And we want to go to rotate that. I want to rotate it up. And we also want to rotate the bicep bone here too, the left elbow bone, because we want to get that arm straight as we can. And we want to do the same on the other side. So shoulder, and this is often the case. You'll often find that even after you've identified all the bones, that you end up with these arms being twisted up. So you just need to adjust this. And then we go ahead and we save this. This is a T-pose now, so we're gonna save it. And I've already, I've already done that. I've saved it as the, uh, the dweeb pose here. So we'll replace it. And so now that's correct. So now if we go to an active, that's the pose that's correct. And now we go to like the dance we just had there and we go, and now he's, <laughs> Well, this is how robots dance. This is, uh, <laughs> it's, it's the, uh, you guys remember the robot from Hitchhiker? I'll just stand here and rust then. Okay, so uh, so that's it. That's that's all we have to do. And then we just do a convert. We just, uh, I'm sorry, we go into T-Pose, preview that, and convert it. And now it's converted just like that. And then we go into up here. I mean, you can save it out now, but I, I always like to apply the iClone. The reason I like to do this instead of saving it as an avatar, I like to apply it because that way if there's something wrong with it, then, then I know I, I can fix it right away and I can go in and, and adjust it and see what the problem is. So uh, so here we are in iClone and it's going to eventually, when it comes in, uh, like I said, you can save it as an avatar, but this way you can find out if there's a real problem with it. So here it is. The first thing I want to do with this, uh, when the textures come from 3D Exchange, they always come in 
uh, as, as traditional textures. But then when they're converted over like this, they get the PBR, if you have PBR set as your default, which I do, and that's correct, but the Vitalik isn't correct, and they're all linked, so this actually happens to be good that they're linked in this case, because he's all metal, right? <laughs> and so he should be like that. Okay, there you go. And then we just go into some content, and we're going to apply a belly dance, because this is one of those things you can't unsee. <laughs> yeah, see, now, now you wish you hadn't watched this video, don't, don't you? Okay, well, anyway, that's, that's really basically about all there is to it. Uh, you, you generate your T-pos for whatever, and, and this will work, like I say, most of the time. Every now and then you'll find somebody who's rigged up their, their robot or their model a little differently, and then you need to do some different things. And if you have problems like that, as always, just contact me and I'll be glad to help. All right, take care and see you on the forums.